is awesome. Man. Wow. The Pine Creek. Starting out on the Pine Creek Rail Trail. Not 100% sure how far I'm gonna get today. Just kind of getting out. Just heading up into the Grand Canyon of Pennsylvania. And I don't think I'm making it all the way up. It's like 63 miles up to Wellsboro. 63 back. Homie don't play that. Not today, anyways, but just going up as far as I want. Starting out on a nice paved section. Sweet. And bike route G. I think it's bike route G all the way up to Ansonia. And I have been on bike route G before on the on the lower trail, I believe. But anyway, getting it y'all. Such a nice trail. So nice. So very nice. Up, brother. Well, I don't know if I'm getting rained out here or what. I'm up in uh, Waterville. I'm not sure if I'm getting rained out here or what. It says it's still supposed to rain for a couple more hours, and I am wet and freezing. About 12 miles in here in Waterville. I'm at the park. I always stop here. I usually stop at the general store and then come over here and kind of hang out, but. I'm almost too cold to be like standing around and hanging out. Kind of underestimated the temperature for today. I do have a long sleeve on underneath this, but. And I just went ahead and like let my shorts get wet. I do have my rain pants with me. I might have to put those on and <laughs> I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about turning around and heading back. I don't know if I should wait it out or not. I mean, it was like pouring down rain when I pulled in here. Huh, I don't know, <laughs> it kind of sucks. I hate bailing on a ride, but. At some point, I mean, sometimes it's just not enjoyable. There isn't really a destination I'm heading to up north. I'm thinking pack it up, come back tomorrow. I think tomorrow's actually better weather, but I do have some work-related activities to do, but I might be able to sneak away. Da 
darn it. Other than that though, having a having a great time out here. Pine Creek Rail Trail in the fall is just amazing. Like if you're in Pennsylvania, you're around the North Central area, you must ride the Pine Creek Gorge really any time of the year. But in the fall, it's uh, really spectacular. And I mean, it's just really incredible out there. A lot of old train bridges and uh, really some really nice scenery. Cruising through Waterville. I am still heading north. It's raining less, but heading north. I put my rain pants on. Seem to be much warmer, but I think the heat's in the tools today, boys. Gotta keep motoring here. It is 10.30, so I still have a lot of time in the day before I turn around and head back, and I would, I would assume it's much faster heading down because it's, I guess you could say, all downhill, although it's, you know, flat as hell, but... Whew. It's chilly though. <laughs> it's chilly though, man. Think about buying a new pair of winter gloves for riding this year. I'd like to stay away from the pogey thing, although I know I am going to be riding a lot this winter. I don't know. If anybody knows about any lightweight, waterproof, warm, fantastic cycling gloves, let me know. And I'm going to be needing them absolutely next spring for the, for the race event. Ooh. And I wouldn't mind, I don't know, kind of sampling, sampling a few pairs this winter or, I don't know, trying to do my research before I throw good money after bad. So if anybody knows of any gloves I should try out, send me a link or, or let me know. Hit me in the comments there and we'll figure this wild thing out. Bike Route G. Gangster man. Straight up G. Ain't nothing but a G thing today. This is so nice. Just slow poking, yo. Man, is this nice. Hands are freezing.
I think I'm gonna at least try to get up to that slate run access area. So it's 12 and a half from here. So that should be about 27 miles up. And make a decision there if I wanna turn around and head back or what what the uh what the big deal is here. So man, there's so much more trail. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep riding. How does that sound? I did just get like wet as hell, but I don't know, maybe I'll dry out or it'll warm up or something, but sticking with it. Glad I pushed on. About 10 miles north of Waterville here. Turning out to be a beautiful day here. My gosh, so nice. I'm so, so glad I didn't bail. Turn around. Not too many people out today. I don't blame them, man. But I'm pretty warmed up now. Feet are pretty cold and wet, but uh, dealing with it. Nice campground over here. Looks like in the Tyadotten State Forest. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down here. I am at Elk Run here. I think I'm about halfway on the trail. I just passed mile marker, I don't know, 32, 31. But uh, I think I'm gonna head south and a little bit chilly. I had to throw the uh, raincoat back on. It wasn't off for very long. And just an incredible ride here today. And I got 31 miles in, so it should be about 62 by the time I make it back to the truck. Awesome up here in the fall. Having a great ride coming back down through the gorge and just slow poking, just taking my time. It is so nice up here. Still, still a bit chilly, still a bit chilly. I might try to get out here again this year, hopefully this month, maybe next, next weekend. Maybe this weekend coming up if I can sneak back out and 
I'd like to ride all the way up to Wellsboro Junction and ride back in one day if I could. Do like a, do a yo-yo. And uh, I don't know, I guess that'd be like 100 and, 126 miles or something. Totally doable and uh, the trail is definitely worth it. It's so nice here. So nice. Let's see what we're doing. Camel Comfort Station. Waterville, 7.9 and then another 10. So I got like, uh, yeah. So I got like 18 miles left or so. And really just gonna take my time down there and uh, get it, but. Getting back down here, I probably got another five miles or so. Probably like that, five or six miles. That was just an awesome ride today. Wish I could have made it all the way up, but just wasn't in the cards for me. Still wouldn't mind getting back out here and trying to do the whole trail. Maybe twice, like a yo-yo or something. But I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Plans change. Trying to enjoy this last five miles. And here we go, yo. And rolling back into Jersey Shore here, everybody. Thanks for staying tuned, following along on this little ride. And many more adventures to come. And we'll catch you on the road.